Welcome back to Lacrosse Now, presented by 500 to 1. Our CAA previews continue tonight as we take a little trip to Fairfield University. The Stags head into 2020 looking to revamp the program after a fairly rough 2019 season, finishing 5 and 9, not a single conference win, going 0 and 5, dropping the last six games of the season. Woof. But hey, Silver lining here, the top point leaders are all returning, including now senior attackman Dylan Beckwith, who racked up 65 points last spring, the most by a stag since 1999. 28 goals, 37 assists, earning all CAA second team accolades. That's good. Not yeah. far behind Beckwith, Taylor Strau, this junior midfielder, finished 2019, 25 goals, 7 assists. Strau named to the all CAA second team with Beckwith, also had some Nice heroic games, some game winners in there as well. As for the guy in net for the Stags, that would be a sophomore, James Corsiniti. The New York City native started 13 games in the cage as a freshman, closed out the year with a 12.5 goals against average, save percentage just under 50% in uh, almost 800 minutes of work. And all these players now under the direction of first year head coach Andrew Baxter. He took over the position at back in June prior to Fairfield Baxter serving as the defensive coordinator and associate head coach at Yale for six seasons. Of course playing an integral part in of recruiting that 2018 national championship team for the Bulldogs also led him back to the title game a year ago. Mariah has coach Baxter with her now. Hey, Coach, we spoke with you back in June, but since then you've had an entire semester with your new team. So after what you've seen so far, how was fall ball? What, what were you really seeing from this new group of guys? Yeah, we, uh, we had a great fall. Really encouraged with uh, the effort and uh, the way that the guys took to the, you know, the whole new coaching staff and the, the, uh, the way we want to play, the way we want to practice, the way we want to lift. Um, super excited. We actually just... I literally just got off the field from our first workout here this spring. So um, had a lot of smiles out there and had a lot of fun. And um, we um, we are very excited. That's always good. Now, this team struggled yeah. a little bit last season, especially defensively. Defense is kind of your area of expertise. So what have you been trying to implement recently to help turn things around in that area? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I spent some time with the D guys today. We are just trying to... Uh, Simplify things, I think, so that the guys feel like they can play at a, at a little bit faster speed. Um, so we're simplifying everything from the schemes and to um, the fundamentals, and just trying to trying to get guys to not have to think so much and feel like they're paralyzed by you know the decisions that they have to make, and just kind of letting them play, but at a faster pace and, and keeping it simple. And you guys get going in just a few weeks. You got scrimmages first with Hartford and then your former team, Yale. Is there anything that you're going to be watching for in those scrimmages to kind of fine tune before the season opener against Stony Brook? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it's two great scrimmages, two really good teams. Um, obviously, Yale will be a huge test. Uh, I think uh, the hope would be that we get uh, we get some humble pie. But um, I think... Uh, you know, we uh, we're just we're just I would love to see our guys just work on the things that we've obviously been working on the fall and then leading up to those scrimmages, um, you know, hoping to play fast like we've been talking about. And because and, we're trying to change the style that we're playing a little bit and playing at a, at a more of an up-tempo pace. And so, you know, obviously early in the season, you know, you have a tendency to, to revert when you get into the game game like situations. So we're going to try to you know, eliminate that as much as possible and do a lot of things that we've been that we will be working on in practice and, and um, uh, you know, just trying to get the guys to, to have fun with it. And you're trying to elevate this program. So the good news for you, you're returning some top scorers like Dylan Beckwith, Travis Ford. How helpful is it for you in your first season to have this strong base of experienced guys? Yeah, that's been great, actually. Um, we have been meeting with the senior class every week, either having lunch or, or some sort of meeting with them to, to make sure that they're on the same page with the coaching staff. And I think uh, they've got a lot of, you know, certainly more experience here at Fairfield than, than the coaches do. And mm -hmm. so we're relying on them a little bit to kind of, you know, tell us um, how things work around here and, and, and kind of use their experiences positively, negatively to, to um, you know, 
uh, dictate what we what we're doing from a, from a day to day perspective, from lifting to practice, and uh, we're, we're relying on those guys pretty heavily. Um, and I think, you know, they've done a great job of of taking to the new um, regime, and and um, you know, obviously there's there's been that excitement that we've been talking about. So they they've been a huge help for sure. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Coach, and best of luck this season. Thanks a lot, Mariah. I really appreciate it. Thanks thank for having you. me on. Thank you. As Mariah mentioned, Stag starting out with a couple of scrimmages, and then the regular season begins. It begins at home. They host Stony Brook, first road game for the Stag, sends them down to Georgetown. When they return, they face in-state folk Quinnipiac. The CAA schedule starts rolling in March. Back-to-back -back road games at Delaware and then at defending league champion Towson. CAA games continue for the remainder of the schedule, closing out the regular season at Hofstra.